I remember like watching the 2012 Olympics and um, I remember sort of following the story of sort of Catherine through when she was, uh, she was doing the rowing. She was doing a PhD at the time as well. She was studying and I was thinking, this lady who's sat here, she's won a gold medal and she's also doing a PhD as well. So yeah, so for her to be actually inaugurated as our chancellor, it's brilliant. It'll really inspire me to, uh, to go on and hopefully, hopefully do well in my career and in my degree here at Brooks. I was really excited to find out about um, Catherine's own academic interests because I'm a professor of criminal history and to find out that she was really interested in homicide and sentencing of homicidal offenders and also uh, the sort of um, relationship between sentencing and mental health issues was really interesting to me and to my colleagues because that's closely related to a lot of the stuff we teach. So. I think we might be asking Catherine to give us a bit of a hand on some of that and give us some of her, her valuable knowledge and, and expertise on those modules. I think Catherine is an incredible individual. Uh, I think she has uh, a wonderful, warm, approachable, uh, personality. The students engage with her so easily. So I'm a graduate from the Osteopathy Programme at Brooks and I've been heavily involved in the Obsey Programme uh, since I started. So the Obsey Programme is an Oxford Brooks social enterprise programme and it supports students to create ideas to solve social and environmental problems. Catherine has been an ambassador of the programme since the start of it. So not only has she been given inspirational talks and lectures, but she's also been involved in the judging panels and all the way through to mentoring students at the same time. I think what made Catherine a really excellent judge is I think that she had huge empathy with what it means to be an entrepreneur and I think to be entrepreneurial uh, is one thing but to be a social entrepreneur is quite a different thing and I think she understands the grit, the risk taking, um, the determination that it takes to be entrepreneurial and to be a change maker. And so from that point of view, I think not only does she have empathy with the students, but I think she's also able to challenge them a little as well. Being a student's being redefined, and it's not just about excelling as a sporting student or an academic student or engaging in student social life. It's how the student bubble is broken so we interact with the city and towns around us. And her involvement in the Social Enterprise Programme and demonstrating that it's feasible is more about how students can be well-rounded and engaged not only with academia, but with the city and town and community around it. I think our, our boat club certainly know Catherine, um, or certainly know of Catherine and her achievements, um, you know, it goes without saying, I think as most of the nation do, to be fair, um, I think having, having her as a figurehead to look up to and see how she's championed the academic side of things as well as her sporting commitments um, is a great thing for them to see and to see, you know, the, the importance of the education beyond rowing. Rowing career doesn't go on forever, although clearly uh, Catherine's made it last a lot longer than most. Um, I think it's going to be hugely beneficial to them uh, having her as a figurehead.